Hey, what's up guys? Nadia and Sans here back yet again with another very exciting episode. And it is indeed a very exciting episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. It's the first time ever we're gonna do a Photoshop tutorial on this channel. Boom, you never thought it would happen. It's happening. Now I just learned from a photographer friend of mine how to quickly and easily kind of smooth out skin in Photoshop without it looking unnatural or painted or like face toony or any of that garbage. And since I just got done editing some of my engagement photos, roll the montage. I thought now would be a good time to do a little Photoshop retouching tutorial. So today I'll be showing you guys how to quickly get rid of blemishes in the skin and kind of remove things from the background as needed. And of course, how to blur skin naturally and very quickly and effectively. It works really well. Exciting that this is the first time I'm saying this. Open up Adobe Photoshop, cause we're getting started. All right guys, Photoshop is open and here we have a photo of a very, Unfortunate looking male model, uh, but uh, you know, he lent us this photo for the tutorial. So thanks to that guy. But anyway, we're gonna start off first by getting rid of some of the blemishes in the skin. Now I don't recommend getting rid of predominant facial features, right? Like I'm not gonna get rid of the moles on my nose cause those are like something that people are used to seeing, but like little zits and little blemishes we can easily get rid of cause those are kind of just masking, whatever. All right, so we're gonna go to the spot healing brush, which is over here on the left hand side. And you're gonna scroll down here and you may have something else kind of like in here, whatever. But uh, if you click and hold on any one of these icons with the tiny little arrow next to it, it'll give you a set of different options. So make sure you click and hold and go to the spot healing brush. And then up here, you're gonna wanna make sure that it is on the content aware side of things. And then we're gonna come over to our brush and we're just gonna drop the hardness down to zero. So we get a nice feathered edge on the edge of that content aware thing. So what I'm gonna do now is just kind of zoom into my forehead here and we can start getting rid of some of these little blemishes kind of on my forehead here, simply by taking the content aware brush and we're going to make the brush bigger by hitting the right bracket on the keyboard. You can also come up here and kind of increase or decrease the size as you wish, but the bracket is much faster. So we're gonna turn the bracket up just big enough to get rid of some of these little blemishes and I'm simply just gonna click and that's it. And it is very easy to get rid of blemishes using the content aware tool. And you will find this to be a tremendous help to you when you are editing photos. Now this photo has been edited in Lightroom previous to bringing it into Photoshop, but I'm just showing you guys how easy it is to get rid of some things. Now I have this kind of like zit thing on my chin. I don't really know if it's a mole or a zit. It never really goes away, but it's going away now. Check this out, content aware brush and we're just gonna paint over that area and now it is gone. And you can kind of go over it a couple different times in a couple different ways by clicking several times to kind of make it a little more natural. You can kind of wipe over it all together and you'll get different results every time. But I think that's looking pretty decent to me. Let's zoom out there. Yep, looking pretty good. Let's move on down to the neck here. We can get rid of some of this stuff down here just simply by clicking and kind of dragging over the areas that we don't want to be seen. And you can see how good of a job this content aware is doing on like big groups of things. What's this thing on my face? Nobody really knows. Let's give it a couple clicks and call it a day. Maybe get rid of this guy here. Maybe this guy here. There's an eyelash there. We can get rid of that. And it's very, very easy guys. Like I'm not, you know, this isn't like after editing magic. This is happening in real time. It is very, very easy to get rid of some of these things. So again, don't get rid of predominant facial features and let's move on to the smoothing of the skin. Now, this is what my photographer friend showed me. It's actually really super easy, really super fast. And if you guys have ever tried to blur skin before, you may be using like a mixer brush or like the blur tool. Don't use any of that garbage. We're gonna use a mask on top of the original image. It's easier just to show you, check this out. Come over down to your original layer and we're gonna hit Control J to duplicate the layer. So now we have two exact copies of itself. And then with the copy selected, hit Control I on the keyboard to invert it, it will look absolutely terrifying until we come up to the layer blend mode. Right now it's set to normal and we're going to set it to vivid light and it will make it a little less terrifying here, but we're not done yet. Now, still with that duplicate selected, we're gonna come up to filter, other, and go to high pass. And you're gonna make sure the high pass layer is set to 24 pixel radius. Click okay. Then we're gonna come up to filter again and come to blur and go to Gaussian blur. And usually you're gonna wanna stay between like two and four. Uh, you just kinda have to see what works best for you. The more blurred, uh, the more detail will come out in the skin. So I've found the most success with right around four. So I'm gonna keep mine at four just for now. And we're gonna hit okay. 
And then again, with that duplicate layer selected, what we're gonna do is hold down Alt and come down here and create a new layer mask with this like square with a circle in it. And then all of this stuff will go away and it will go back to the original image. And now with this layer mask selected, we're gonna come up to our regular brush tool here and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your colors are set to black and white respectively. And very simply, with the white paintbrush selected, I'm just gonna zoom in here and I'm going to increase the size of my brush and I'm just gonna start painting over my skin and you'll see that it's actually starting to smooth it out quite nicely. Now, the one thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is kind of avoid areas that you want to be uh, really detailed. So like no eyes, no eyebrows, like maybe my beard I want to be okay, but everything else is kind of fair game. So I'm just gonna kind of paint around all the areas of my skin that I want to be smoothed out, my cheeks, avoiding the little dimple right here in my cheeks, but we can come up here onto the sides, up on the sides by my eyebrows. Maybe we go underneath the eyebrows just a little bit and see kind of what happened there. Uh, there's two ways to get rid of this. One is a simple control Z, or the second way is to actually swap your colors over from white to black over here on this side, and then you can paint in black over the area that you messed up. So the black will actually erase the mask and the white will add to the mask. And if I get rid of the original layer under here, you can kind of see what I'm doing to the face. So you're basically just painting in the mask where you want the skin to be smooth, which I think is like a really cool thing and a really fast way to do things. So I'm gonna keep painting in under here, under my eyes, maybe up here, down on my cheeks, being careful to avoid the dimples, the side of my nose, there you go. Underneath the beard here, looking good. Maybe down here on the chin a little bit. Now, some of you may think this absolutely looks way too airbrushed and you are absolutely 100% correct. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to our top layer here and we're going to adjust the opacity by clicking and dragging over the word opacity. And now watch what happens here. If we go all the way to zero, it's gonna be our original image. And as we slowly start coming back up towards 100%, we can make it look a little bit more natural. So maybe about 50% opacity on that top layer. And now this is looking really good. It's not looking overly airbrushed. It's not looking overly unnatural. And if I turn this top layer on and off, you can see that's the original. And this is now the fixed skin version and it is looking much, much better. Now I could come in here and I could get rid of some of the wrinkles by my eyes with the content aware tool. We could go in and we can really go ham with that, but that's not what this tutorial is about. Uh, it could be, but it is not. As you can see, I'm kind of doing more harm than I am good to my face, but we can kind of get rid of some of these wrinkles if we wanted to and yada, yada, yada. So retouching a photo can take a couple minutes. It could take a couple hours. It depends on how hard you wanna go on retouching the photo. And some of you may be like, what the hell? You've never done anything in Photoshop on this channel in your entire life. What are you even doing? What did you just do? I just retouched the photo pretty quickly. So it's up to you what you guys wanna do, retouch, your heart's out, like go crazy, but you can, just like with video, you can over edit a photo. You don't want it to look unnatural. You don't want it to look crazy fake. So this is a really good way that I have found to make skin tones and skin smoothing look way natural without blending it in a weird way. So if this is your first time retouching a photo, first time to the channel, welcome. All my other videos will be video tutorials. I apologize, but this will be the first of many Photoshop tutorials on this channel. And I wanna thank you guys for hanging in there and paying attention to this one. So if you're retouching a photo, hopefully I helped you today. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also check out the last video that you missed. We do them here weekly at Learn How to Edit Stuff. If you're not following me on social media, at Naughty and Sands, go ahead and drop me a follow. I respond on Twitter a lot to questions, so go ahead and do that. Subscribe, check out the last video that you missed, and I will see you next time.